Now we are at Bao Dai Chao, Suzhou. Bao Dai. Bao means treasure or precious. Dai means belt. So precious belt bridge. It was built in 816, 1,200 years old. Today is a national culture relic under state protection. Um, we are very fortunate. Today we could like walk on the bridge. To the right hand side of the, to the right hand side, it's the Grand Canal. Chinese call this Qinghang Yunhe. This is a totally man-made canal from Hangzhou to Beijing all the way. It's about 1,800 meters long. Great transportation for old Chinese. Like, for example, Lots of rice, food, necessities were produced in South China. So all the precious, all the necessities were loaded on a boat, probably like this kind, barges, and through this canal all the way to Beijing for the emperor, for the imperial families. So, you may notice this bridge goes parallel with this canal. So why is this? Because in old times, the Grand Canal was pretty slow, shallow in this location. So when the boat came to this section, a group of men had to jump in and drag the boat with the boat, with the rope. So they were dragging the boat on this bridge in old times because of the shallow water. Now officially on the bridge. Over 300 meters long, about 4 meters wide, with 53 arched opening under the bridge. 1,200 years old. Take a look at the surrounding area. Water is really shallow. Could you see a man standing in the middle of the water? I can see him. It shows how shallow the water is. So in old times, those boats loaded with a lot of rice and things must be so, so heavy. So need some labors to drag to pass this shallow water area. Why right here in the middle of the bridge, I find that this Buddhist pagoda thing and what you wreck emerged from the water. I'm pretty sure this is to suppress some kind of a, like a evil spirit. Like a Chinese believe they're like a evil spirit under the water. They create like a flooding problems. So this pagoda could eliminate the evil spirit to keep the bridge in safe condition and never get flooded or destroyed by flood. I'm sure that's the purpose of this pagoda. Chinese are a little superstitious, but I like this superstition. It's our culture. It's part of our culture. So the bridge got raised, raised up a little bit. I'm sure this is for uh, like a bigger boats to go under so the bridge the body of the bridge got raised i see some holes 
I don't know what those holes for and maybe some kind of a structure or well, I guess maybe there is a pole seeing like a post maybe the people can tie their boat so can park the boat for a short period of time they can have a they could have a break absolutely amazing bridge again this stands for a top level of Chinese craftsmanship I reached the end of the bridge now I can take this kind of a shot for the bridge I just read about the introduction this bridge in history was destroyed for several times so this was maybe this is not original anymore things have been going on like this for thousands of years.